Kids Online. My name is Pastor John. And I'm Gabriel. And we're going to be your host for this week. But before we get into our teaching, we're going to send you over to do a game. So get up out of your seats. This game is called Choose Your Pig. So get up out of your seats, pick your pig, and let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about worship. Last week we talked about why we worship. And this week we're going to be talking about when we worship. We're going to say to connect HQ to learn some more. Where did that come from? Uh, this says to connect HQ from connect IQ. It, it could be a gift from Edison. Why would Edison send us what is clearly a person dressed as a robot? If Edison wanted to send us a robot, he'd send us a real robot. Ah! It's Edison. Hey, welcome back. You're here, you're back. You are back, right? I'm back. <laughs> My name's Edison, and this is the time we learned when to worship God. I'm so excited you're back, Edison. Connect HQ has not been the same without you. I've really missed everyone here. I can't wait to catch up on everything that's happened since I've been gone. Well, why don't you tell us what you've been up to at Connect IQ? I know you've been working on some really interesting projects. Oh, definitely. What should I talk about first? Oh, uh, I know. Next month, Connect IQ is releasing the iWorship app for our smartwatches. What does iWorship do? You know how it's easy for us to forget to worship God during the day? That's why we built the iWorship app. It sends alerts to our smartwatches to remind us to worship. That is a great idea, Edison. I can't wait to try it out. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Actually, Connect IQ is looking for people to test the app before its launch. Uh, I could put it on your smartwatches if you wanted. 
Oh, I want to do it. Tony, can we do it? Yeah, sounds like a great idea to me, uh, Jake. I want to try it too. Great, just give me watches and I'll take care of the rest. All right, I've installed the iWorship app on all of your watches. When will it start alerting us? Well, that depends. It has set times to alert you to worship, but it also responds to your heart rate. Even my hummingbird heart rate? <laughs> I made a special modification just for your heart rate, Doc. It's important for us to worship God in times that are good and in times that are bad. By reading our heart rate, that can remind us to worship even when we're stressed. It's important to remember, I can worship God all the time. I can worship God all the time. <laughs> That is so interesting. I can't wait to see it in action. Remember, this is still a test model, so come to me if there are any complaints. Why would we have complaints? I'm sure everything will be fine. <laughs> oh, I missed you, buddy. Yeah, the telescope definitely collected some dust while you were gone. <laughs> It'll be good as new once I'm done with it. This is your worship reminder. Uh, what was that? <laughs> that was just your watch. Oh, <laughs> it, uh, it definitely caught me off guard. But it is right, uh, I should take some time to worship God. Let's see. God, thank you so much for bringing Edison back to the team. Thank you for all the gifts that you've given him and for all of us here at Connect HQ. You've done an amazing job creating all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> Complete. So, what'd you think? I really like the reminder. Um, the voice... Y y y yeah, they're, they're still fiddling with the voice. I'm sure they'll come to a decision soon. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Jake? Shouldn't you be sweeping the floor? Sorry. Sorry. I know I'm supposed to. I'm just worried that I worship is gonna catch me off guard. Electronics have a tendency to startle me. I'm sure it won't be that bad. You're probably right. It couldn't be. I thought the raccoons had all been taken to the wildlife sanctuary. What do you think they're doing up there? Don't forget <gasps> to worship. Jake! I told you, I startle easily. It's okay, let's just take a deep breath and calm down. You know, we should probably tell Tony about those noises and listen to worship music on the walk over. I think that's a good idea. Looks like Edison wasn't the only one who decided to make a big comeback today. It sounds like the raccoons are back in the air ducts. There were raccoons living in the air ducts while I was gone? It was a whole thing. Maurice left a few too many pizza crusts up there, and... Uh, I, I get the idea. <laughs> I'll have to call the animal sanctuary and make sure they didn't have any escapees. This, uh, could be a problem. Where's your <laughs> time? Your heart rate monitors must have gone up. Just take a deep breath and relax, Jake. Easier said than done. Why don't you say a verse with me? I think it might help. Okay. It's from the book of Psalms, chapter 145, verse 2. Psalm 145, 2. Psalm 145, 2. I will praise you every day. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Yes, I will praise you forever. God is always with us and is always looking out for us, which means it's always a good time to worship God. And when we worship God, we get closer to Him. He helps us live our lives for Him, and He also comforts us and heals us when we go through tough times. I do feel a little better now than I did before. Thanks, God. Yeah, I know, the boys still need some work. Okay, well you three keep working and I'm gonna go call the animal sanctuary. Okay, I talked to the animal sanctuary. Turns out several of the raccoons actually escaped last night. So, they're sending some people over here to take the raccoons back to the sanctuary. So, how long do we have to deal with that? Just a few more hours, tops. I say we just concentrate on our work and remain calm. That's not a good sign. I'm sure it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's just the wind or something. Or the raccoons are chewing through the wiring in the ceiling. You 
No, we never figured out how the raccoons were able to get up into the air vents. <laughs> if you watch Maurice long enough, you'll figure it out sooner or later. <laughs> True. I wonder what they're doing up there. This is strange. The, the console isn't working. The computer isn't working either. You don't think... When I say hi, you uh -oh. say worship. Hi, worship. Hi, worship. Hi, worship. I didn't do hi, something. Uh, hi, Tony, Jake, get to the hub. Make it quick. Keep going. <laughs> Hurry, give me your watches. Oh, thank goodness it worked. Yeah, I, I think the app needs more work, Edison. That was terrible. No kidding. Between eye worship and the raccoons and the lights flashing and the electronics going on the fritz, there was no way we were going to be able to worship. Knowing when to worship God can be difficult. And sometimes we don't feel like worshiping. So how do we know when we're supposed to worship God? Let's take a look at the Bible story this week and see what we can learn. I've had a hard day. Our new puppy chewed a hole in my favorite shirt. My brother ate the last of the cereal and I stepped in a puddle and my socks got all wet. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also bit my tongue. Hard days remind me of Paul and Silas in the Book of Acts. Trust me, they had some really hard days. Kinda like my day? Even worse, Paul and Silas went all the way to Rome to teach people about Jesus. They did amazing things there through God's power. That all sounds pretty great to me. Well, some people didn't like it. They took Paul and Silas to the city rulers and accused them of causing trouble. Then, the rulers ordered soldiers to beat Paul and Silas with wooden rods. That's awful! It was. Then they put Paul and Silas in prison and told the jailer to make sure they didn't escape. Were Paul and Silas really upset? Actually, they prayed and sang songs of praise to God while the other prisoners listened. Then, around midnight, there was a huge earthquake. Great, so things got even worse? No, they got better. As the prison shook, the doors flew open and the prisoners' chains fell off. Then... Wait, let me guess. Paul and Silas and all the other prisoners escaped? That's what the jailer thought, too. When he woke up and found the prison doors open, he thought all the prisoners must have gotten out. He was so afraid, he took out his sword to kill himself. What? Why would he do that? He thought the soldiers would kill him anyway for not doing his job. But just then, Paul called out to him from inside the jail. He said, wait, don't kill yourself. See, we're all still here. Wait. You mean no one escaped? That's right. Since Paul and Silas chose to praise God, even though they were wrongfully imprisoned, all the prisoners were amazed. They did the right thing. They didn't escape, even when they had the chance. The jailer must have been really happy. He was. He took Paul and Silas to his house, where they ate a meal together. And Paul and Silas got to tell everyone in the jailer's family about Jesus. Everyone believed and was baptized. Wow, Paul and Silas made a big difference, even on a hard day. Yep, even when things were hard, they showed everyone that God is always good, no matter what else is going on. You know what? God is good. All the time. Hi, I'm Edison, and I'm a part of Connect HQ. I have a great verse I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. Psalm 145, 2. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. We never have to stop worshiping God. We can worship him all day, every day. When Paul and Silas ended up in prison, it would have been easy for them to think that God wasn't looking out for them, but they kept worshiping him all night because they knew that even though they were in jail, God was still good. When we go through hard times, it isn't always easy to remember to worship God. But no matter what happens to us, God is still close to us and looking after us. We can worship Him because He comforts us and heals us when times are tough and shows us how to live more like His Son, Jesus. It doesn't matter what time it is, where you are, or what you're going through. Any time is a good time to worship God. Don't forget, I can worship God all the time. 
And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Wow, Paul and Silas were put in jail for telling people about Jesus. But they didn't let bad times stop them from worshiping. Because they worshiped God even in a bad situation, lots of people came to know Jesus. No matter what, God is good we can always worship Him. That's right, even in tough situations, we can worship God. So why don't you stand up in your seats right now with your families and let's worship together. We have lots to celebrate. No matter what you're going through, Jesus wants to be in a relationship with you. Do you want to be a friend with a super awesome God and find ways to worship him? Find times and chances and opportunities to worship him? It's as easy as ABC. A, admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you. B, believe God sent his son Jesus to take the punishment for your sin and that you are forgiven. 
and C, choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. Did you make that choice today? Be sure to talk to a parent or leader. I'm sure they would love to talk to you and help. We hope you had a fun time at Upstreet Kids Online, and we're praying for you this week. But before we go, let's join together in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us an amazing week. We thank you that Jesus is our hero, that he died for us, and that we can live for him. We pray for each boy and girl and family out there. I pray that your presence is just in their homes, keeping them safe. God bless them all, in Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. Amen. Hope you have a great week.